I told you. I specifically fucking told you not to fuck with my goddamn timetable today. Yeah, fuck you and your goddamn timetable. Listen, one of us has shit to do. One of us is a productive member of society, and one sits on his fat ass. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh, a little, little reality just got into that fucking intro there for a minute. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's a little too real. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the look on Jer's face. He's like, he's been wanting to say this shit for a while, apparently. Oh, my God. I, I, I woke up. I had like 12 missed texts from Tony. <laughs> I'm like, well, I guess we're not doing the fucking podcast today. <laughs> I'm sitting there because the whole reason that I said 4:30 was because uh, was because like I was trying to watch a movie and and the cats kept fucking it up. Uh huh. And uh, I introduced the old lady to Dark Shadows. It's, it's honestly like the closest we'll ever get to Tim Burton like coming back to being original like OG Tim Burton, you know. She 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 never seen Dark Shadows. She never seen Dark Shadows, and I was like, this movie this movie was beautifully acted, <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't I don't know about how well it was written, but the acting was fucking, mwah. fucking Jesus Christ. The God, <laughs> you may place your wonderful lips upon my posterior and kiss it repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Jackie Earl Haley, by the way. <laughs> Motherfucker. His role was perfect in that. I love, like, fear me, fear me not, drunkard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pray tell, what month is it? <laughs> it's October. Father Pumpkins. <laughs> Jackie Earl Haley was a fucking he, Jackie Earl Haley's great in everything I've ever seen him in, except that one goddamn movie. Oh, speaking of movies, Tony. For those of you who don't know, Jackie Earl Haley played Freddy Krueger in the 2010 remake. <laughs> speaking of movies, the move the movie Blazing Saddles. Oh. It, not not only not only is it racist, it's misogynistic, it's sexist, and it's just it's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> it's <mwah. laughs> Where are the white women at? <laughs> and and it's playing at the movie theater tonight. He said the sheriff is near. <laughs> Don't finish that. <laughs> oh, no, God, man, God damn it. I said the sheriff is a... <laughs> <laughs> that movie was so fucking great. But but that, that movie is... Uh, it's a Fathom Events thing. It's like 50 years old now. And they're playing it at the movie theater tonight. And I'm like, chance That's to see Blazing Blazin Saddles on the big screen? Oh, yes, one please. Bla one, please. <laughs> well, in your case, two. Do you, have to buy two seat Do you have to buy two seats at the movie theater like you, like you have to on planes? I've never had to buy two seats for anything. Go fuck yourself, <laughs> you goddamn heathen. I still love that. I still love that joke that I made that caught Jer completely off guard. The fucking... Fucking up! Oh, they they sat me in coach. They sat me in fucking coach, and I booked first class. I was like, yeah. Imagine having to trade two first class tickets for three coach tickets. Like, like <laughs> Jerry was actually he was actually taken back a minute, and he goes, "I want to be mad, but that was a good joke." Oh uh, yeah, I, I remember that now. I remember that. <laughs> I want to be mad at you. <laughs> There's a lot of times I'm like, God, I should be furious right now. <laughs> but God damn it, that was funny. <laughs> like, Speaking of friends, we've been disowned by somebody, Tony. Not just me, both of us. Oh, yeah, we've been disowned. I can't fucking believe that. Like, <laughs> like I understand Jer because even I want to block him. But what the fuck did I do to you, man? <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, like there's, there's we're not going to say any names. We're not going to say any names. No, no. Not going to say anything. There's, there's no, there's, you know, we're not going to say any names. We're not going to like bring everybody in on the drama. Right. He's just off fucking living his best life with the lollipop guild. Like, <laughs> all right. Fucking. 
Oh my god. Uh and if you still don't know who it is, uh just look just look at our past just look at our past guests and uh what what what's that thing that Sherlock Holmes use? Use that. <laughs> Deduction? Deduction. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's why I didn't make an attempt cuz I was like I was like Tony will fucking pounce. So I'll just say the thing he uses. Elementary, my dear Watson. You know, the, the grade that Jer finished. <laughs> his re his reading level. <laughs> so that's what that is. Elementary. Uh, but no, so uh, I, I'm really excited for tonight because I've never gotten to watch Blazing Saddles on the big screen. I'm I amazed. Big, I have a big screen, so it doesn't matter. I'm amazed you're not going. It's in Montana. It's a fathoms. It's a fathoms event. Just oh. find, just it'll, it's playing near you as well, Tony. I got band practice tonight. I know you do. I know you do. Yeah, I got I got band practice tonight. It's uh, oh dude, oh my god, that fucking wah pedal that thing is so nasty. <laughs> oh god, more. <laughs> He's about to start speaking a fucking foreign language again. That some <laughs> bitch is so nasty. Like I got I I. Yeah, yeah, we we haven't we haven't discussed this on the podcast yet. Wait, so, wait, wait, hold hold on, hold on. Why did you just like this just in? <laughs> because man, I'm reporting news. <laughs> okay. This just in, my fucking wah paddle is the shit. <laughs> yes, pe people need to hear this. But not, like serious. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I had sort of an existential crisis. Um, I found out how old I am because I had to replace something in my rig. And I looked everywhere for this fucking thing, right? I looked everywhere. I went on Guitar Center. They didn't have it. I went to Sweetwater. They didn't have it. I went to Musician's Friend. They didn't have it. Like, fucking everywhere, right? And I typed in just the, the pedal itself, Digitech EX7, right? Right. It's got it's got a it's got two wah pedals in it. It's got like a synth swell. It's got a, a, a roto vibe, and it's got a fucking um, a whammy pedal, right? The whammy pedal is is the selling point for this. Okay, the whammy pedal is fucking amazing uh, because you can now play Pantera and Rage Against the Machine. And by the way, by the way, guys, he's gonna put it out there for you. Let me put it out there for you. This fucking thing is amazing. So I ordered it, right? Right. I ordered it, and I ordered custom picks around the same time, custom guitar picks. And uh, explain to me how my order of guitar picks from Shenzhen, China, <laughs> came in before my pedal from fucking Maryland. They're good business people. What can I say? They fucking, I paid for priority shipping, you motherfucker. Why did you let China Post kick your fucking ass? Like, <laughs> that's what I want to know. Why is China Post faster than the USPS? <laughs> this is the reason. This is the reason that the Postal Service is fucking failing, okay? This is the fucking reason they have to be legislated into their own monopoly, all right? God damn it. They suck. They suck so bad, it's their job, all right? <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, my order was not priority enough. Is it the, is it the USPS, like... I think I think I just recently found out like the USPS is like a billion dollars in debt or something like that. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 a government program. They're a government checkoff program. Um, yeah, I didn't know they were like a billion dollars. Like they're never gonna dig out of that. No, they're also they're also their own they're the only legal monopoly. If you uh, mail something inside the continental United States, yeah. and it's a letter. Right, if it's an envelope, it has to be mailed through the USPS, and they will find you if your mail is not important enough to overnight. That's fucking that's fucking insane. And they have their own law enforcement division. They have tactical fucking mailmen. All right, Jesus Christ. Special and forces. Yeah, and I'm not, yes. not going to talk shit. I'm not going to talk shit on them. I can't. I can't talk shit. They know where I live. But <laughs> fucking... so I order this goddamn thing, right? I order this fucking thing through USPS, right. and I finally get it. I finally get it Monday. I had to take off 
uh, work early on my lunch break to come back to the house to put it inside because there's no way that I'm going to let a $300 multi effects processor just sit on my goddamn porch. All right. No fucking way. So I came, I get it, I get it in the house, and I'm excited. I'm like, I can't wait to come home and fuck with this thing because I am definitely going to be playing some Pantera tonight. Sounds like Specifically, a good night. one song. One song, right? Becoming. Which one? Becoming. That's that. Okay. That, that's that's how that's how they get the uh the the fucking that dun dun what a dun 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 what a dun 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 that's how they get that fucking that that loud ass fucking high note. That's far beyond driven, isn't it? Yeah, it's far beyond driven. So I also yeah, found out good. recently that Zach Wild does not operate this pedal on stage. He has somebody else do it for him. I'm like, what? You can't operate your own fucking board, Zach? But I digress. <laughs> So I get home and I plug this fucking thing in and the little red light comes on and then just goes back off. And there's no sound coming out of it. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Okay. So I read up on it and, and it's like, okay, well, it's going to take a bigger fucking power supply than everything else. So I scoured my house for power supply yeah. that would work with this fucking thing. Right. Okay. I plugged it into everything, everything that would fit including the fucking power supply that it's supposed to come with. Okay. <laughs> Nothing worked. Nothing worked. I was devastated. I was, God damn it anyway, I was that close. And there's nothing like spending, there's nothing like spending 200 fucking dollars on something and it not working. Like, motherfucker. So I got to send it back. But I went to Guitar Center the next day because I was like, maybe it's just my power supply. Maybe maybe I just need a new power supply, whatever. So I went into Guitar Center, and I talked to one of my buddies, and we put it on every fucking power supply that they could offer. Right? Everything that met qualifications for this fucking power supply. Everything. And, and what was the result, Tony? It did not work. God damn it! So I was like, fuck it. I cannot be without a wah pedal. I've got to get another one. So I walked over begrudgingly and said, <laughs> what does a fucking Dunlop crybaby cost? Was that still you running about a like, hundred bucks? You, 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 Tony, knowing you, you were probably like, you guys just did this intentionally. You made sure it wouldn't work. You sons of bitches. <laughs> you motherfuckers. What are you doing to me? Attica, Attica. Wait, hold on, hold on. What the fucking God damn. Attica! Attica! <laughs> Hail Whitey! Hail Whitey! Shut the <laughs> fuck up! <laughs> For those of you who don't get that, that's a Naked Gun reference. <laughs> you hey, are, you're, 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 you're awfully you're, loud for a new fish there, Drebin. <laughs> we're fine with the Attica, but then you had to keep going with the scene. That's, fuck it, I don't care. What are they going to do? That was a beautiful movie, by the way. Naked Gun, 33 and a third. Hands down my favorite. <laughs> but, continuing, I walked over and I saw, I saw something that just, just blew me away. Okay. For $150, they had the Jim Dunlop custom super badass dual inductor wah. I was like, That's a bad motherfucker right there. It's also a $300 wah pedal. <laughs> Why is it $150? <laughs> did, did, did you happen to mention that generally it's $300? No, I am not telling them what they don't know. <laughs> so I walked over and picked it up. I was like, let's see if it fucking works. So I plugged it in the amp that we were fucking trying to get to work with uh with the digitech wah pedal and this fucking thing works everything everything works and i went okay well it's the sound isn't that great i mean the range isn't so fucking great for it because i mean you know it's a fucking analog wah pedal and i i'm an analog guy i, I don't like digital effects digital effects like if you don't if you need digital effects you don't need to be fucking playing because you don't know how to dial in an amplifier motherfucker but I started thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. Cause it, it was one of those things. Like I'm, I'm playing in an, I'm playing on an orange amp, you know, and orange amps aren't the best. They're not like anytime somebody says, Oh, I play orange. I'm like, 
but it's fucking gay. But <laughs> <laughs> I plugged that fucking thing into my pedal board with my rig, and oh, it's a bad motherfucker. It's a bad motherfucker right there, boy. <laughs> so the 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 dual induction, right? The dual inductor is uh, it's a halo and a phasal wah. Which let me break it down into into dumb shit for Jer. Uh, Halo would be like the '60s, right? That'd be your Jimi Hendrix players. The Faisal Wah would be '80s thrash, like your Kirk Hammett, your fucking Dave Mustaine, Marty Friedman, Kerry King, Jeff Hanneman, that kind of thing. Like it's made for heavy metal. <laughs> and I have not switched to Halo one time since I've been playing this fucking thing because it just sounds so nasty. It gave me confidence that I didn't know that I needed. Like I was just like, wow, this sounds fucking phenomenal. Ah, uh, well, I'm glad that worked out for you there, Tony. Oh yeah. And speaking of, speaking of, uh, since since we this just in. <laughs> since we've been abandoned by the uh by the by the short coalition, um, <laughs> we will not be doing Kings of Chaos in Jacksonville in October. We will we will schedule an STFU for a later date though. Yeah. To make to make up for. It. Yeah. So so we're not doing Kings of Chaos in Jacksonville. So what are we gonna do with the bar that I booked? I'll what are we gonna you. do, Tony? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. <laughs> <sighs> Agree to hate's back, motherfucker. <laughs> Our first show, our our triumphant return to the stage, October 18th. God damn it, anyway, it's going to be good. I'll tell you what, it's going to be a fucking hoot, boy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, it's going to be good. Uh, we got we got guys coming up. Uh, we got bands coming out. We got guys coming up from fucking Orlando. It's going to be fucking amazing. I've I'm actually I've actually tried. I've I've messaged them. They haven't messed me back yet, but I'm trying to get Death Angel on the show. That'd be fucking sweet. And uh yeah, I can't get Cannibal Corpse because they're touring. But it wouldn't be much for them to come up from Tampa, you know? <laughs> so so you are currently still booking bands though. Mm-hmm. So uh so far so far uh confirmed it's us and uh my guys from Automatic Fit. So roster coming soon, guys. Oh now, yeah. Tone- Tony, going back to the UPA, USPS, um, fucking. That's what it sounds like, like. That's I, what it sounds like when I bang the wife. But. <laughs> like you remember how your poster came USPS and it was yeah. like a week. It took like a week and a half. Yeah, you ordered yours fucking FedEx, didn't you? It's gonna be there tomorrow. It's gonna be here tomorrow. It's coming FedEx. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn, I'm good. <laughs> I don't know why yours came USPS, though, and mine came FedEx. I don't know. Because like, like, God I hates me, that's I, why. I, I, I didn't do anything different with the shipping. Yeah, God hates me, that's what it is. <laughs> that's, what, that's why mine came USPS, that's why my pedal didn't work, that's why my poster's fucking 21 by 21. <laughs> I texted Tony last week. I was like, I was like, I ordered my poster. He's like, fuck you. I was like, you got a free poster. All right. Fucking get a frame and shut the fuck up. I love the fact too, that he read, he read my, it's like, why are you mad at me? <laughs> because you're a retard. All right. And he read it as I fucking intended him to. He actually read the word retard. I, I laughed for a good five minutes. <laughs> he didn't fucking, he didn't read it as retard, which everybody else would. No, he read it in my voice. He heard my voice in his head going, you are a retard. Yeah, I feel like this is a relation. I feel like we've been in a relationship and I need a break. Like, I need a break <laughs> to sort some things out. Because <laughs> uh, Jared's just sitting there fucking, Jared's just sitting there ordering shit online like, I'm going to fucking order this shit. He's going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
did you did you watch some Looney Tunes recently? Like, what the fuck? No, no, it's just this is one of the like anytime anytime you want to do like a fucking like a simple man kind of shit, right? Not not that not the uh, baby be a simple. No, not like that. I'm talking about like fucking hey boys, let me tell you something. Fucking, you can get away with that voice. You can say anything in that voice, and immediately it's not offensive anymore. <laughs> well, I tell you what, them damn Jews, they need to go. Dude, you shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> it's still offensive, motherfucker. Oh, my God. Tony, I was thinking about something the other day. I know. I smelled the fumes. <laughs> and it kind, it kind of infuriated me. Like, we are past the golden age of movies, and I'm sad about it. Think, think the, the golden age time. of movies, man. The golden age of movies was the fucking the eighties and nineties. That was that was when that was when movies and music were perfect. No, 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 no. Like I I believe it started in the seventies and ended like late nineties. I mean, <laughs> fucking, think. If, fucking, he's he's like it started in the seventies because we need to include Clockwork Orange and Easy Rider. Like, fucking. Uh, did you forget about Star Wars, motherfucker? No, I just didn't mention Star Wars because it's mentioned too many fucking times. <laughs> I, yeah. it, there's Star Wars, there was Jaws. And then and then you get to the then you get to the eighties and shit really kicks off hard with fucking oh. E.T. Oh, E.T. and the Goonies. Goonies. Wolverines, like fucking <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fucking Red Dawn, man. There's that's a that's a fucking classic. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Fucking, fucking Wall Street. Fucking, fucking uh fucking Back to the Future, Raiders, fucking, fucking Land Before Land Before Time. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Right yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street, fucking Oh, oh fucking was, Friday the thirteenth. It was such a great fucking time for movies. And then and then you get to the fucking nineties and the steamroller just kept going. It, fucking peaked because then you had fucking jurassic park Sick Park, yes oh jurassic park fucking uh pulp fiction natural born killers tales from the hood fucking it just kept fucking steamrolling and the peak of civilization was 1999 because that's when fucking the matrix came out right <laughs> Oh fuck! The Matrix came out. The fucking Coy the, the Wachowski brothers back back when they were brothers. E e e even the cartoons were good. Fucking Toy Story, a uh, goofy movie. Fucking classics, man. Oh. Fucking classics. The fucking Lion King. The Lion King, motherfucker. By the way, by the way, we gotta say it on oh, the podcast. Yes. We gotta say it on the podcast. God rest you, James Earl Jones. We miss we you. We love you, sir. Oh my oh, god. I god watched damn I you. watched I watched The Lion King. And and that part, that part is I'll be with you always. You just like I was like, oh, somebody, <laughs> somebody put something in my eye. But I got I got I got fucking I got something in both of my eyes. Which one of you sons of bitches is cutting onions? I don't, know, I don't care. I'm home alone. Fuck you. Oh, man. Fucking dude. Jurassic, Jurassic Park and the Lion King. It's oh, like that. Fuck. Oh, we forgot one. We forgot one. The greatest cinematic achievement that has ever been. Braveheart. Terminator right. 2. Terminator 2. Terminator 2 is good. Fucking Braveheart. Braveheart, 1995. 1995 was a great fucking year for movies. <sighs> fucking Braveheart, fucking Toy Story. God damn it. Oh, man. And God damn you, 2024. You took Jones, all right? If Betty White was alive today, I I'd be like, no, take her. <laughs> yeah, right? Can we trade Betty White for James Earl Jones, please? <laughs> that that's how much I loved James Earl Jones. Hopefully Mark Hamill's next, because they already got Carrie Fisher and James Earl Jones. Can we just fucking get rid of Mark Hamill and his crazy fucking bullshit now? Like, I love Mark Hamill right now. Mark Hamill has gone fucking insane over the past couple of years. Like, just, just fuck. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up, Mark. Jesus. No, Mark, you keep going, sir. You keep going. Mark Hamill is Mark Hamill's like fucking getting getting on that fucking like Stephen King train, which, by the way, 
Apparently, I am in a heated fucking debate. I am. Me and Stephen King are going back and forth on Twitter. I'm just fuck. Goddamn, fuck you, Stephen. All right. Like, like, listen here, you child orgy writing motherfucker. Like, is, is Stephen King replying to you? Stephen King fucking hates me, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm fine with that. Like, uh, d- knowing Stephen King's very liberal take, I am not surprised. Oh man! And then Mark there. Hamill, Mark Hamill celebrating because Stephen King just followed him on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, fucking. I can't. I can't fucking. I. I, I just like. Okay. It, it's like this. All right. It's like this. The celebrities that come out and they say, "Well, fucking, you know, we we need to fucking stop Trump for America. We need to stop Trump for this." I'm like, dude, fucking calm down. All right. You're not in the general public, okay? You're a fucking celebrity. So when you talk about it's going to take the fucking the, 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 the American taxpayer, I'm like, first of all, you don't pay any fucking taxes, you rich bastards. Fucking, I, I, apparently people are angry at me because I pointed out the fact that Eat the Rich also includes Taylor Swift. But fucking. Oh, my God. Speaking of Mark Hamill, speaking of Mark Hamill. Did you know every time that there is an official fucking Star Wars toy release, like 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 it's an officially licensed Star Wars thing? Mark Hamill Mark Hamill gets a shipment of that shit. That's badass. <laughs> like like he put it into his contract like during the fr- like during uh, a New Hope. He's like, well, can I get the toys? And they were like, yes, yes, you can. No value in these things. And apparently he's oh the studio the studio's greatest fuck up. <laughs> There's no value in Star Wars. Keep the merchandising rights, George. <laughs> and George went, don't mind if I do. <laughs> and apparently- I'm making a fucking deal with Kenner. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, like he's either he's either got like several fucking like uh, storage lockers. Or he owns a couple warehouses, but either way, he's got a fuck ton of shit That's in a storage. Lot of toys. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking toys. Oh man, he, he may have bought a warehouse. I'd have to look into it, but he well, may I have just, bought a warehouse. Fucking oh, the Taylor Swift thing made me laugh though, because like fucking first of all, she endorsed Kamala Harris, which I mean, who didn't see that coming? Fucking, I was surprised. But, but I was, I was thinking about like somebody, somebody fucking posted. I don't know who it was posted fucking Taylor Swift endorsing Kamala Harris is funny because she has 11 albums about picking the wrong people. <laughs> I know she got a lot of people to register to vote. Like she did. Done. She got, uh, a, yeah. All, all the fucking, all the Mexicans, all, all the illegal Mexicans. There's not that many illegals in the country. All There's right, a calm fuck down, ton sir. of them. They, they have single-handedly taken over at least two cities. <laughs> two, two of them. It's a fucking lot of them. Oh, my God. I <sighs> mean, you can't get by. You can't get by in fucking Miami without speaking Spanish, right? Fucking South Florida, or as I like to call it, North Cuba. Fucking. Jesus. Yeah, fucking dude. Can you imagine? Like, fucking, you lived in L.A.? How far did you make it without hearing Spanish on the streets? How far? I played the fifth. <laughs> One, two, three, four, fifth. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that, that, that doesn't count. All right. All right. Because oftentimes, all right, I'd be walking behind fucking white people and they didn't even speak English. <laughs> Like, there's so many languages going on in that fucking city. So it doesn't oh. count, motherfucker. We actually, I had a, I had a fucking conversation with somebody, uh, cause I, I went to, I went to art school. I went to Douglas Anderson and, um, apparently one of the customers, her, her kids go to Douglas Anderson and we, we've been in the news recently for all the wrong fucking reasons, but apparently there's a lot of kid fucking going on at that school nowadays. Jesus. Yeah. A fucking a lot of them. Like every time, every time Douglas Anderson comes on the news, I'm like, oh God, there's another one. Speaking of which, uh, recently I just watched for the first time ever, uh, the sound of freedom 
that, that's a fucking rough one to get through. Oh, that's <laughs> a hard watch. That's a hard watch. A lot of kid fucking going on in that movie. It's a lot of it. It's almost as much as Douglas Anderson. But um, <laughs> <laughs> we're up to five. The five. Five fucking teachers so far. Jesus. What the fuck? And not one of them was that bastard Mark. Not one of them. That motherfucker hated me. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's just like, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Take one for the team. But fucking, somebody bang that motherfucker. Somebody seduce Mark. Like fucking. It was, dude, it was like that motherfucker hated oh. me. And it, it was it was all because I was in a fucking metal band and we didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Tony. For some reason, Tony's got got a fucking bingo card that he's scratching off. <laughs> I we, just, played de- we played debate I, bingo, by the way. We, we all played debate bingo. What Donna the- won. Fucking, fucking, our drummer's already won it. I was like, God damn it. I was that close. Like, all, all I needed, all I needed was, was them to mention gun control, and I would have fucking won. If they mentioned it too late, apparently. <laughs> but, oh, but no, oh, it, like, you, back you, to... You went to, you played bingo... During the debate, yeah, oh, yeah. we had okay. we had we had bingo cards. It, like anytime oh, they talked about economics or American workers or make America great again, somebody scratched off. But speaking of which, hold on, no, no, I'm not finished with this shit yet. So I was talking, and apparently, uh, I was like, yeah, I took I took Spanish, I took Spanish in high school because I'm smart, you know, because fucking, you know, I, I didn't take French because, you know. I should have. I should have for all the for all the fucking the millions of illegal Frenchmen that come in from Canada. Fucking, you know, I should I should have taken French. But it's like they said, oh no no no, uh, they they they're taking German. I was like, what the fuck did they start offering German in high school? <laughs> it was fucking Spanish, French, and Latin when I went to school. That was the only fucking three you got. And I took three years of Spanish and two years of Latin. Fucking. I took I took I took two years of Spanish. Don't remember fucking. Don't remember a fucking lick. I learned I learned more speak I learned more about speaking Spanish from Miami than I did school. But but no no like okay so they you know they're taking fucking German and then then they just popped off it's like yeah they offered German uh, Russian Chinese I was like what the fuck is going they become a little too tolerant at that fucking school god damn it fucking who's taking these languages. I don't know. I, don't, I wish I had a fucking cool, cool fucking foreign language story like Burt Kreischer, but like I didn't get a minor in anything or nothing. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't join the Russian mafia or anything. Like Drake, I just Drake. Drake got a bunch of minors. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so did Jeff, but and probably Joe Biden. Definitely uh, Bill Clinton. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely Bill Clinton. Anyways, fucking. <laughs> Come here, little girl. Call me Wild Bill. Oh, my God. I just found the spot where I'm going to hang my poster. I was worried. I was worried I was going to have to take something down, but I'm not. Uh, it's yeah. going to go right fucking there. Right there. Right next to the Mutant Mayhem poster. It's going to look almost at, I'm almost out of coffee. This is bullshit. I mean, coffee's fucking disgusting anyway. Yeah, yeah, you're a fucking tea drinking asshole. I don't even really drink tea, honestly. And Jared's like, I'll take a hot chocolate, please. Because I'm fucking four. What's what the fuck is wrong with hot chocolate? Okay, so let me, let me, let, I, I have a, I have a funny story about, about uh, energy in, in general, right? Uh, not, not like the, not like the, you know, the, the crisis that's going on right now or the dependence that we are on, on foreign oil. All right, all right, um, fucking roll out the story, goddammit. So somebody walked in and they had a coffee, like a big ass fucking Dunkin' Donuts coffee with like three shots of espresso. They had a five hour energy and a bang. I was yeah. like, do Coke like an adult. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? <laughs> Just fucking bite the bullet. Do Coke. It's going to be less expensive. Jesus. <laughs> Why is coffee more expensive than cocaine nowadays? I <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's shit going on in Bogotan, all right? Don't ask questions. <laughs> fucking oh Jesus. There, there was a there was like fucking there was a post because they found another another uh, big ass fucking duffel bag full of coke washed up on on the Florida beaches, and 
God damn it. I got to go start hanging out on the beaches in Florida. Right? <laughs> My God. They're like, what would you do if you found a duffel bag full of Coke? I'm like, Coke. <laughs> I'd do a lot of Coke. <laughs> a lot of I'd fucking retire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Do you have any idea what I could sell that shit for? <laughs> for if for any law enforcement agencies watching this podcast, I, I maintain that was a joke. Yeah, th- th- these, these are just <laughs> jokes. This is a oh, comedy joke. podcast. This is a joke. That that actually was my favorite presidential moment, by the way, that this is a joke. Fucking that. That's my favorite presidential moment, and it came from Barack Obama of all people. <laughs> so Barack yeah. Obama at the at the fucking uh, at the congressional dinner or the the White House correspondence dinner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, he gets up in front of everybody. He goes, "Since uh, my birth has come into question, uh, I, have I have not only I have footage. I have not only acquired my birth certificate, but I have." I have uh, acquired uh, my birth film, which I will show you now. And it fucking, they cut to the monitor, and it's the opening of the fucking Lion King. <laughs> and <laughs> I was like, there's no way that he did that. There's no way that he was that fucking, like, aware, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then it cuts back to Barack Obama, and he goes, I would like to clarify for the people at the Fox News table, that was a joke. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, holy shit. Yo, uh, Obama, oh, Dude, I Obama fucking hated Barack like, Obama, but that was funny as shit. <laughs> Obama seems like a motherfucker you could hang. Like, you could have a beer with that dude. I mean, fucking. This. I didn't like him as a politician, but he was funny. <laughs> like, but he. Him and Bruce Springsteen did a great fucking podcast, like a limited series Spotify exclusive podcast called The Renegades. And it is just, shit's good. It's deep. Fucking deep. Fucking, like, I, like, okay, so so when, when people ask me why I hated Barack Obama so much, I'm like, this, this whole racial tension and racial division shit started under Obama, all right? Because George Bush brought us together by perpetrating 9-11, and he brought us together as a country. <laughs> and then the plane's going to. It's like that age old joke. You know, it's like that age old joke. Time traveler. <laughs> Time traveler goes to 2001. Right. Time traveler goes to 2001. And he, he walks up to George Bush and says, hey, uh, is this before or after the attack on September 11th? And George Bush goes before. <laughs> <laughs> I I've always thought it was it was eerily convenient at like cuz it was not long after he got elected or elected into office. <laughs> I mean when when people when people say well, fucking like oh George Bush this and George Bush that I'm like you would have rather had Al fucking Gore. <laughs> that crazy bastard. You would have rather had him in office than George. I, I'd rather had a third pick to choose and from, then, and then fucking Then fucking John Kerry. Like, where are they coming up with these fucking politicians? Where? Where are they getting these motherfuckers from? We were talking about, we were talking about how the media has just gaslit everybody, right? Fuck it, the media, okay, I remember vividly. Before Kamala Harris accepted the nomination, the nomination, fucking to be that. Okay, I'm gonna put this out there. The Democrats are fucking you guys. All right, if you're a Democrat and you're watching this, not realizing you're getting fucking jungle fucked, then you really need to open your fucking eyes because the media was talking shit on Kamala Harris. They were talking mad shit for fucking four years about Kamala Harris. They were talking mad shit when she was running for president. The you, most. You were ta- un- they were talking about mad. They were talking mad shit about Trump too. Yeah, but I'm saying that that like even CNN was talking shit on her, and that's that's saying something. And now she can do no fucking wrong. Google, Google bad stories about Kamala Harris. I bet you don't find any. Anyways, fucking anyways, we're moving on from politics. God damn it. God we damn do. media conglomerates and their fucking bullshit. Oh. Fucking god damn it. Tony Tony and his fucking political tirades. I swear to God. It's not if a I political can... tirade. I'm I'm fucking saying flat the fuck out that the media has you guys fucking snowed. 
All right. I could, if I, Not if the I, liberal media. I'm talking about the media in general. Has you guys fucking snowed? If I could just cut out the political parts in Tony, that would be mwah, leave the rest. Why? Why? So you can so I can be just as dumb as you are when it comes to fucking American politics? No, just so we don't have to fucking sit here and listen to your political fucking outrages. <laughs> outrages everyone. It outrages everybody. It's like okay, so so there's yeah, you're, but, tell, but, you're telling you're telling me but, you're telling but, me but, but, but they should come here and be able to enjoy the enjoy this without having to fucking hear our goddamn political opinions. You're telling me. All right, you're telling oh, me geez. that See. there's a bunch of fucking facts. This just in. There's a bunch of fucking fact checkers. That's actually going to be a lot funnier in a second. There's a bunch of fact checkers on Facebook and Twitter and fucking Instagram and all that bullshit. People that have all the facts. I say we kidnap those bastards. And we round them up. Just round all of them up and we put them on TV and let them explain the facts of the fucking cases. All right? We, we could call it the fucking news. It's a novel idea. We're gonna we're gonna make millions. Anyways, Tony, fucking, I've decided I'm gonna do one more movie night this year. One more fucking out, outdoor movie night. In October, I'm I'm going to be showing Halloween. I was I was about to say there's only one right answer to this. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's only one movie you can show in October. Did did, did I fucking get it? Yeah. I'm so glad to have your fucking approval. It's Halloween. It's always got to be Halloween. And only the first one. Oh, definitely the first one. Classic John Carpenter, 1978 fucking Halloween. Before they fucked up the timeline worse than the Terminator. All right. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that timeline is fucked. There's so many. Like, okay. So I was watching, I was watching recently. I was watching uh, Halloween H2O, which is apparently a direct sequel to the first one. All right. Yeah. Well, it the was first the first, two. The, the, the first, first two. the first direct sequel. No. No, no, it no, wasn't. no, 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 no. Because remember, Halloween, Halloween two is a continuation of the night of Halloween. I mean, theoretically, but they cut out a lot of shit from Halloween two. Okay. Anyways. Anyways. So, yes. so uh, they they incorporated shit from uh, Halloween four. So how the fuck? They did. Yeah, uh, where uh, where uh, Laurie Strode fakes her own death, or oh, where Laurie yeah, Strode yeah. dies, kind of shit. Like fucking yeah, they, they incorporated shit from Halloween Four, which is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> like, I still I still want to I still want to be in the room. I, I wanted to. I, I wish I was in the room for those pitch meetings for those fucking movies. All right, guys, we're making another Halloween movie. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because the money hasn't stopped coming in yet. I have an idea. <laughs> We're going to kill Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> what? Yes. First five minutes of the movie. Oh, you're talking about, you? no, you're talking about resurrection, motherfucker. Yeah, now I am. I was talking about H2O yeah. first. But we're going to yeah. kill Jamie Lee Curtis five minutes into the movie. <laughs> well, what are we going to do? We're going to bring in a whole list of people that nobody's ever seen before in a film. And Tyra Banks. And <laughs> And Buster and, Rhymes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, any other ideas for it? Yeah. We're also going to bring in Buster Rhymes, and he's going to do karate. <laughs> what? <laughs> Buster Rhymes is going to save the fucking day. He is going to karate chop Michael Myers. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck? This is less Michael Myers and more Mike Myers, motherfucker. Like. Dude, I just love like however whenever they reboot the fucking series, they're like, "You hey, remember all that shit we showed you?" Never oh, happened. Get it? <laughs> Never happened. Never happened. So, so fucking like, I love, I love how they tried to retcon that shit. Like they weren't brother and sister in the new one. I'm just like, this is what happens when you put Danny McBride in charge of writing Halloween movies. Like, what the fuck is going on? Dude, they're. In in the new like remember remember the recent trilogy, the one that yeah. started off the one sadly, that started off sadly I the, one, 
the one that started off badass, and then like by the end you're like, what the? F-? Like you just wanted to throw a beer yeah. bottle at the TV. <laughs> you're like, what the <laughs> fuck is this bullshit? Anyways, what is anyways, this happy horse shit we have here? Anyways, the first the first of those movies, there are like I love that I love the first one in that thing, but there is there's one there's one fucking moment in that movie I'm like, fucking cut reshoots. We need some reshoots. We need we need a different line. Can we can we? Can I like remember? I like I liked in the second one. I liked in the second one of that trilogy where the where the firefighters squared off with Michael Myers and he kills like every one of them and there's one guy that charges in last and I'm like that guy deserved to die. Okay, you just <laughs> saw this motherfucker take on every one of your coworkers. Yeah, I've never understood that. Like like you see somebody just fucking plowing through people and then you're like I'm the one. <laughs> you are not the main character of this story. Sit down there, Mark. Like Jesus Christ. <laughs> but no, you remember you remember when they get Michael Myers in the basement, then they run upstairs and they fucking slam the, the trap door shut. Yeah. And then, and then the mom or the, the Jamie Lee Curtis's daughter's like, like it's a trap baby. I'm like that. I don't believe you for fucking si-. No, we need it. That's a shitty lot. We need writers. Do you, remember, do you remember when she's like, it's a trap, baby? I'm like, dude, that's so fucking somebody, corny. Somebody take the pen away from Danny. Like, <laughs> fuck, you know Danny McBride was fucking, like, he he was responsible for this. I blame him. <laughs> like, it was a great movie, but that, that little fucking part, that little fucking part, I was just like, ugh. <laughs> like, it, it's kind of, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like Rob Zombie's Halloween. I I love Rob Zombie. That motherfucker can make a movie. House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, The Three from Hell. These, these were good movies. These were good films. All right? Agreed. They're fucking fantastic. Leave fucking Halloween alone. <laughs> all right? There's I, I watched Rob Zombie's Halloween, and I, I thought to myself, I'm like, you know what I never needed is, is <laughs> Michael Myers' tragic backstory. <laughs> like, like I've never, and I've never, like, once while I was watching Halloween wanted that. <laughs> his mother's a fucking stripper and his stepdad's a cripple and his sister's a fucking asshole <laughs> like, just, I was just like yeah fucking Christ, man. yeah it was it was very unnecessary it was very unnecessary and when Brad watched- Dorff was amazing in that movie though like I love I love Brad Dorff and in the original movie None of them were those things. Yeah. Michael Myers was just a fucking nut. You, and you just, I will never forgive. I will never forgive Rob Zombie for killing Danny Trejo. <laughs> there should never be a film where Danny Trejo fucking dies. There shouldn't be. That man should live he, a glorious, happy life. Did he kill Danny Trejo? He killed Danny Trejo. In in the Halloween series? Yeah. I, I, it's been it's been so fucking long since I the watched the night that he breaks out of the fucking insane asylum. He kills Danny Trejo. I, I mean, was good to you, Mikey. I was like, geez, he killed the one oh, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, the one yeah, motherfucker yeah. that was good to him. Like this is bullshit. He's like he's like a fucking janitor or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember now. I remember. He's bringing him Jello and shit like. Oh, Kill fucking Danny Trail. This is bullshit. That was good to you, Mikey. <laughs> fucking no. Oh, they killed. They killed Machete. <laughs> By the way, he's he's always he's every movie he's ever in. He's always he, one of two characters. He's always either Razor Charlie or Machete. <laughs> There's no in between. And ever since that Machete, people have him saying fucking Machete a lot. <laughs> Yes. He even said it in fucking Clark's three. <laughs> and I oh. always carry machete. I still I still think the greatest fucking thing that I've ever learned is that spy kids and machete are the same universe. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? They're the same they're the same universe. <laughs> God damn it, Rodriguez. 
Oh, they're both Rodriguez movies. Yeah, <laughs> they're both Rodriguez movies. It makes sense now. It's so great. <laughs> one of the most wholesome kiss films ever. And one of the most diabolically violent films ever to be made are the same fucking universe. That's pretty fucking great, actually. <laughs> that's fucking amazing. That's that's good shit. I was watching I was watching uh, Machete Kills recently, and I I just kept rewinding when Amber Heard dies. <laughs> <laughs> Get her again. Uh, <laughs> he killed the shit out of her. What was what was left after after vacating her bowels on D- Johnny's bed? This is this is for Johnny, bitch. Justice for Johnny, goddammit. Fucking lion whore. I still I still love that. That like every moment of Johnny Depp in the trial is fucking amazing. What are these? I used her as a fucking cum receptacle or I forget what the fuck he said. <laughs> he got fucking raw. Yeah, it was it was like the way Johnny never talks. He's like, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like when I watch Zombieland. I always I always rewind the part where Amber Heard dies. <laughs> like, I watched Zombieland just the other night, actually. <laughs> on shrooms, apparently. Uh, was, was it no, was it shrooms? No, 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 no. I was that was last weekend. That was last weekend. I did not have the ability to turn on the TV at that point. <laughs> he called, dude. He fucking calls me and says, "What movie should I watch on shrooms?" No, <laughs> and my was, response, it, as everybody's response should be, the wall. Like fucking watch the wall. <laughs> if you're gonna get high as shit and watch a movie, it's one of two things. You either have to watch the wall, or you have to watch Wizard of Oz with the sound off with Dark Side of the Moon playing in the background. <laughs> God, Either way, Pink Floyd needs to be involved, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Dude, The Wall is a movie by people that did drugs for people that do drugs. Like. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, my God. No. No, it was it was just an edible. Ooh, I was strong. Feel real strong. Hey, you going to see the devil now, bitch. <laughs> In fact, I went into the I went into the dispensary and I was like, I kind of want something that makes me go, ah! And she's like, well, this one really mellows me out and stuff. I was like, no, I said I wanted to go. Oh, no. And she's like, oh, you want to freak out? She's like, chocolate chip cookie. I was like, and... I've never been more scared of a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> chocolate chip cookies should be delightful, okay? They shouldn't be able to take your soul. Dude, I stared at that cookie for like two hours. It's like, you're going to hurt me. (laughs) Tell us about the rabbits, George. (laughs) Oh, my God. Now now I'm thinking of fanboys. Now I'm thinking of fanboys. (laughs) Oh, man, dude. Fucking... Oh, this is fucking. It, oh, but speaking of speaking of people that do drugs, um, I was asked. I was asked. Uh, I was I was doing an interview with somebody, and they uh, they asked, "What's the biggest uh, difference between like music, you know, when you were a kid, and music today?" And it, it took me a minute. It took me a minute to think about it, and I went, "All right, I got it. I got it." Um, Instruments. <laughs> music in my day was made by drug dealers. The music of today is made by drug users. <laughs> it's a very different concept. <laughs> oh man, that's kind of like the that's kind of like the the question I got. It's like, what's the biggest difference uh, when you were a kid to today? Like, what's the biggest difference in general? And uh, I said, well, I, I have two. Okay, Asphalt I have two playgrounds. <laughs> no, no, I have two. Uh, the first one's a joke, and the first uh, the second one's gonna hit you where it, where it hurts. All right, uh, one. Uh, I remember when water was free and you had to pay for porn. Okay. Uh, now it's the opposite. Yeah. Obviously. And I remember, I remember in those days when I was a kid, uh, we listened to politicians and laughed at comedians. Now it's the exact opposite. 
You're right. That does hurt. <laughs> it hits you right in the fucking feels, doesn't it? <laughs> like, son of a bitch, why am I getting more information from Rob Schneider than I am my elected officials? Like, fuck it. <laughs> Oh, I love I love Rob Schneider. Like if you haven't experienced Rob Schneider's stand up, guys, fucking do it. It is fucking phenomenal. I don't think he's that funny. I don't think I, I don't do. Think I love I love it. <laughs> they, they've announced they've announced that the big the big thing that they're going to be focusing on in the airline industry is diversity. I'm sorry. Shouldn't the first thing be landing the fucking plane safely? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. If 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 you look at Rob Schneider's bio on the internet, like it says five six, then like you see that motherfucker in a crowded room and you're like, that's no more than five one. What a lying motherfucker. Like if he stood behind somebody that we know, he'd probably disappear. He dude is so fucking short. Yeah, I mean, you know, and that's saying something because of the somebody we know. And uh I love how I haven't said his name once, but everybody knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> let it go, Tony. Just let no, it go. I'm not letting it go. I want to e- fucking either explain to me why. <laughs> or I'm just, going to keep taking cheap shots. <laughs> just just let him live his life. Hope for happiness. And let's just move on. That'll <laughs> never that'll never happen with fucking Tony. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's like mm, no. no I'm going to continue being an asshole <laughs> I know Like I know. everybody expects It's just kind of wishful thinking At this point on my part <laughs> Nope Never gonna happen I'm going to continue being a jackass But, but I'm gonna tell so- you what <laughs> It's gonna get fucking lit up in here, boy I tell you I re-solidified, though, since this happened. I was like, listen here, motherfucker. I have your picture right here. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm not allowed to I'm not allowed to disown Jer, apparently. <laughs> no. I'd be like, if you have a problem, you are you are legally required to fucking hash it out with me. Like I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say flat out, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say it again. I've said it, I've said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. Like if you got beef with me, I assure you it's one-sided because I don't fucking care. But you do. I'm right? just you... I'm just taking this opportunity. I, I just take every opportunity to be an asshole. That's what I do. Fucking, I, oh, you're giving me ammunition to be an asshole? Okay. Just, just, thank you. I appreciate that. That's less work on my part. <laughs> but, like... Jesus. Fucking hell. Apparently, 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 the, 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 the person that is uh, mad at us has a very short fuse. Just all the short jokes right now, huh? Yep. <laughs> and we'll move into the trailer park jokes. Now, <laughs> <laughs> this week's episode. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's it's it's it's. I, I shouldn't make these jokes. All right, that's that's punching down. Literally, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Fucking you can hell. go fuck yourself. That is a well-crafted joke. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Tony. Fucking uh, great, man. Uh, anyways, before we get going, you got anything for the people, Tony? Uh, yeah, yeah. Fucking uh, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna be putting it. I'm gonna be putting it in the uh, into the into the bio. Uh, or into the description of the videos on YouTube and shit. Follow Agree to Hate on TikTok because we go live every every fucking uh, practice. So two times a week we're going live on TikTok and you can listen to us play fucking live. So oh. if you can't make it to the fucking concert, at least you kind of get an idea. Oh, before we go, I got good news, Tony. What's that? I've arranged a kangaroo fight for you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Did you did you see the comments on that fucking video? Yeah, apparently, uh, apparently, guys, I'm gonna have to beat up Kangaroo Jack. Oh my god! So so Dayton White, like a few weeks ago, I asked Tony, I was like, "You think you can take a kangaroo?" And Tony, like a fucking idiot, like, "Oh, 
No, it's not like a fucking idiot. Like I said, all you got to do, they can't hop backwards. Just get behind him and choke him out. Good luck getting fucking behind him. God damn, go to sleep. Sun's getting real low, big guy. <laughs> I can't wait to watch you get the fucking shit kicked out of you by a kicker. But anyways, and so I posed that question because I watched the video. And then Dayton, I think it was Dayton, wasn't it? Wasn't it Dayton? Probably Dayton. Tagged us in a fucking super, like a super viral kangaroo video. Spoiler alert, that was the video I watched that was like, I should ask Tony if he could take a kangaroo. <laughs> I still remember that one guy that, uh, that like he had to, he was trying to get it, like the kangaroo had his dog. Right? He just, oh, walks yeah. up. He, just, he just walks up and punches the fucking kangaroo. One time the kangaroo goes, fuck that hurt, and hops away. <laughs> no, no, he let go of the dog. And then the guy was like, all right, square up, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker was about to beat shit out of that kangaroo. But anyway. But I still stand I still stand by I uh, still stand by what I said, all right? Anything Australians can do, Floridians can do better and crazier. Like fucking. But anyways. So I tagged the creator of the kangaroo video in in the shorts, and he responded almost immediately. <laughs> and so now, here in, a, here in a few weeks, we're going to have us a fucking Australian guest on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I still I still want to get uh, I still want to get Ozzy Schwarzenegger on here. That'd be fucking great. <laughs> no, no, that would be good. I, I I'm fucking down for that. I was actually thinking about t- like texting that guy the other the other night. Oh yeah, ammo daddy. Ammo daddy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude's fucking great. <laughs> he's, he he's is gonna fucking he is gonna send Jaron to a fucking like stroke. Nice guy though, real fucking nice. Dude. Real nice guy, fucking uh, real nice guy, but very Australian. <laughs> no, <laughs> Loves no the word there. cunt. Like <laughs> word cunt's fine. The word cunt is fine. He also loves various racial slurs. <laughs> much that like part, me. Not so much. <laughs> much like I do. But, uh, but guys, so want to thank you for fucking watching. Thank yes. you for fucking tuning in. We appreciate each and every one of you that's on the Patreon. And we look <laughs> forward to seeing you motherfuckers back here next week for another episode of Shut the Fuck Shut Up. Shut the Fuck Up. He's always late. He's always late. You know what? Just, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna like, take it over. Just like Dave Grohl's mistress was. I'm Love gonna, you I'm, guys. I'm going to take over sh- the shut the fuck up part. Fuck you. <laughs> we love you guys. We'll see you next week.